Welcome to Peaceful Warrior Yoga with Laurie. Happy Sunday, everyone. So here we are into week four. I'm happy to see Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness still uh, running our videos and um, uh, keeping the yoga alive. Um, there's a lot of turbulence around. If you're on the internet, uh, a lot to, these days you'll see a lot of turbulence. And one thing I wanted to work with today is is to kind of get into that part of you that the turbulence starts to subside and to discover where is that part of us that's not turbulent or that it is uh, less affected by the turbulence at the surface of our experience. So our yoga today will be to do that. And one, one of the ways that we can manage that is to open up the heart, the chest, the front of the body. And so we'll be working a little bit on that today. And again, uh, a big thank you for people who've donated either to the studio or to myself. Uh, it's definitely made a big difference. And um, I've received a lot of gratitude from people still uh, working with my classes. So thank you. There's a lot of yoga teachers out there who are very um, happy to be uh, received so well by their students. So come into a comfortable seated position. If you uh, have something that will operate as blocks, I would recommend that today. We'll be using those. Uh, you can use a blanket folded up or a, a cushion also. I have my strap. Not sure if I'll use it today, but there it is. Allow yourself to rock from side to side. Feel stability from sit bone to sit bone. Hands on top of the hips. Roll the decks, the hips forward and back. Come to a nice neutral position. Press down with the hands and feel the verticality of the tailbone as you lift the rib cage up. Shoulders lift up, roll back. Gentle squeeze between the shoulder blades and then allow the shoulder blades to slide down the spine and hands to float. Palm face up against the thighs. Close the eyes for a moment and start to feel this sense of turbulence. The sense of turbulence usually has a story surrounding it. The goal in yoga is to turn that story into pure sensation. To allow ourselves to feel turbulence, not in an analytical, judgmental sense, but to simply notice it as movement of energy, movement of sensation. And that sensation can be obvious, almost painful, felt sense in the body. It can be a little more subtle, like the movement of breath, or even more subtle, the movement of thought. more subtle, the movement of feeling, mood. Allow all these movements to simply be energies that are trying to flow. And you just happen to be the container they flow within. Your sense of self capturing all those experiences having all those experiences, could you allow yourself to have those experiences without judgment and without attachment to the story? Let the story go just for our yoga class. Let the spine come up a little taller and then bring your attention to the flow of breath. Breathing in through the nose. 
Let each new breath get a little deeper. Start to feel the breath as a flow, expansion, contraction, in and out. As the breath grows a little deeper each time, start to feel the flow of musculature, muscle, muscle movement, inhale belly expands, exhale draw the navel back, squeeze empty, allow the belly to expand on the next inhale, keep breathing in, start to feel the ribs expand in all directions, exhale release, squeeze empty. Continue to allow the breath to flow through you in this deep rhythmic stretching, contracting. Feel the pumping action of the muscles as a flow. And notice what happens to the turbulence as you allow the turbulence to be there, but it's a little further away, like the waves on top of the ocean. On top of the ocean, the waves crash down. They're thunderous. They're dramatic. They scare us. They push us. They propel us. They thrill us. We surf them. But under the ocean, as we dive below the waves, the deeper we go, the less turbulence we might discover currents, like a scuba diver feeling a current pushing or pulling him along the surface. That could be a current of emotion, feeling. Allow the currents to move a little more subtly within you, letting the story dissolve into the background. On the next inhale, allow the arms to float up above the head. Bring the hands together in prayer position. And then exhale, float the hands down like the wings of a beautiful eagle. Inhale, lift up, look up, reach up. Feel the front of the body starting to open up like a big sphere. And then as you exhale, hands drift down to the knees, rounding the back, creating a sphere in the back. Let the movement grow with each breath. If you know the ocean sounding breath, you can layer that ocean sounding breath over the Dirga Pranayama. Start to feel the flow of the body, the limbs, with the breath. The breath rises up like an ocean wave, rising up, reaching up, peaking at the top. And then exhale, let the wave crash down, let everything go and dissolve as the spilled wave rushes along the beach. And a new wave generates with the new breath, reaching up. The next time you lift, breathe in, hold the breath. Hold the breath and start to feel a sense of inner containment. Start to feel in that inner containment a growing need to breathe. Let that need grow a little deeper. Keep holding the breath until the need gets so strong that you have to simply let everything go. Letting the hands float down, palms face up. Close the eyes and notice how that breath retention affected the turbulence. Notice with breath retention, we start to dive deeper into our experience, diving beneath the waves. 
into the cool water of the ocean. And then gently open the eyes, let the feet come out for a moment, stand the feet on your mat. I'm going to change orientation so you can see what I'm doing. Stand the feet on the edges of the mat, lean back into the hands, and rock the knees from side to side. Now as you rock, notice these new sensations in your body. The next time you knock the knees to one side, can you bring the hip a little further to that side, increasing the sensation in the low back? The next time the knees come to the right, pause, and then start to turn towards the back of the mat and come down onto your forearms. I'll change orientation once again. Come down onto the forearms, elbows under shoulders, hands splayed out, like you're in sphinx pose in this twist. And in sphinx pose, start to focus on the breath, close the eyes. And as you exhale, draw the navel in and round the back. Drop the chin to the chest, like you're trying to do cat pose. And then inhale, belly expands, lengthen through the spine, open the chest, and pull against the mat, lengthening the spine. Shoulders come back, neck floats forward, like you're trying to do sacred cow pulse. Continue those two movements, cat and cow, in this twist with the breath. Exhaling, rounding the back, drawing the navel in, dropping the chin, inhaling, lengthening as far as you can. The next time you inhale, hold the breath, hold the breath, hold the breath until you start to feel the turbulence rising to the surface of your experience. Keep holding the breath as long as you can. Squeeze the buttocks to contain the breath, contain any leakage. And then when the turbulence gets too much, exhale, release. Let the arms come to the side and dissolve onto the side of the body. Cheek pointing to one side. Let everything go. Feel the breath. like you've dived below the ocean and the waves are in the distance, the turbulence receding, being replaced by a sense of a new environment, a depth, a stillness, an ease. Inhale, bring the hands under the shoulders. Stand the feet on the mat. Rock the knees from side to side. The next time the knees come to the opposite side, start to turn towards the back of the mat. And resume that cat and cow motion. Exhale, squeeze the navel. You might even hear a little adjustment in the spine as you do this. Rounding the back. As you inhale, belly expands, spine lengthens, shoulders come away, neck lengthens out. For two more breaths, and on that second breath, prepare to hold the breath until the breath and the turbulence get so mixed up inside you, you have to let go. Inhale, hold the breath. If you can, bring the tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth. As you hold the breath, pull back on the elbows. Let the neck lengthen. Tailbone goes further away from you so you feel more and more length in the spine. 
let the turbulence start to agitate deep within. There'll come a point where the turbulence overwhelms the ability to hold the breath. When you reach that point, let everything dissolve. Let the arms come apart. <sighs> let yourself dissolve. Let everything be. And then rolling onto the belly. You can come onto the chin or the forehead, depending on what feels more comfortable. Float the hands around, palms down on the floor. Bring the toes together and point those toes out further. Lengthen through the legs. Push down with the front of the hips into the earth, squeezing the buttocks. Let the shoulders walk further away from the ears. If you can, lift the feet, lift the knees, and lift the thighs off the ground. Feel the breath. Inhale. Lift the head. Lift the chest. Lift the shoulders off the ground. And then, if you can, lift the hands. Let the hands widen out, stretching the fingers apart. Point through the toes. Engage the legs. Squeeze the buttocks. Lift a little taller. Now lift even higher so the whole chest comes off the ground and you feel the squeeze. You start to feel this chest opening. You start to feel the openness of the chest and the heart. You start to feel as if there's a tightly bound zipper in the front of the body and you're slowly unzippering the chest so it opens a little more allowing the shoulder blades to come a little closer legs lift a little higher chest a little higher and then release dissolve resting the chin on stacked hands or the forehead and then rock the head from side to side from cheek to cheek Temple to temple. Feel yourself. Drop deeper into that ocean of stillness below the turbulence of the waves. Start to feel this facility within you to move away from the turbulence simply by letting go. As if a rock has been dropped into a pond and the, and the rock simply sinks into the stillness. The choppiness of the lake, the wind on the lake's surface left far behind. In your yoga, allow this to be a way to focus your energy. How can I sink away from the turbulence? Not denying the turbulence. Allowing the turbulence to be where it is, but allowing yourself to sink deeper into your stillness below the turbulence. Inhale, bring the hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, press up onto all fours, tabletop. In tabletop, lift the tailbone, lift the chest, sacred cow. Exhale, rounding the spine, shoulder blades come apart, drop the chin. <sighs> Inhale, lift tailbone, lift chin. Exhale. Allowing the breath to move the body, flow the body through sensation. On the next inhale, extend that left leg behind you onto the ball of the foot now press out through the heel press the top of the hands into the mat creating stretch sensation in the back of that left leg feel the sensation allow the sensation to take you somewhere deeper into the body into pure sense felt 
release, float that foot up parallel to the ground. Toes pointing down, knees pointing down. Now roll that left hip a little bit further towards the left. Engage the left hand for stability. Extend the right hand out. Feel bird dog pose. Eyes gazing down towards the top of the mat. Keep the body long. Keep the core strength. And start to deepen the breath. Take two more breaths. On the next inhale, hold the breath. And feel all the tension trapped within the body. Feel the stretch from the heel of the left foot out through that right hand. Holding the breath, feel the buttocks grip, the chest hold, like you're building up a big balloon of energy. And then exhale, dissolve. Let everything go. Knees wide. Let the hips sink all the way back. Belly between the thighs. Child pose. Sink below the ocean. Waves of the ocean left far behind. Crashing on the ocean surface. But down here. Something different. Walk the hands back under the shoulders. Hands on the shoulders. Knees on the hips. Cat and cow. Inhale. Extend that right foot back. Draw the push down into the ball of the foot. Press back through the right heel. Now really push those hands into the top of the mat so you feel the upper body is supporting that stretch in the posterior chain of that right leg feel a delicious feel it in the calf feel it move up into the hamstring the whole back of that leg lengthening and then release the pressure float that foot up beautiful line with the spine roll the right hip towards the mat knee points towards the mat toes point back towards the shin and to the net engage that right arm notice my Elbow rotates in and forward, engaging the right arm. Float left arm out. Eyes find a drishti point, a still point in front of you. Reach forward, lengthen, deepen the breath. Feel your bird dog pose. On the next inhale, hold the breath. Hold the breath. As you hold the breath, push out a little deeper with that right foot. Reach a little further with that left hand. Feel the tension. Squeeze the buttocks until you feel the turbulence start to envelop the whole sense of the self. And then release. <sighs> Knees wide. Let yourself dissolve all the way back into child. Drop below the ocean, deep down, away from the turbulence at the surface of your experience, letting everything go. And then come on to the sit bones. Draw the right foot into that extended left thigh. Grab a strap. So we are going to use the strap. How about that? So a strap, you can use a necktie. You can use your belt. Right? So we want to really open up the posterior chain of the leg and the low back before we come into the back bend, before we come into the heart open. We want this um, back of the body to be stretched out so that it's not coming into a back bend cold. Take the tie and lasso the bottom of the foot. Wrap the hands around the ends of your strap and then give the bottom of the foot a deep massage. All right, so we're really hydrating the fascia at the bottom of the foot. The plantar fascia of the foot 
um, doesn't get a lot of support, a lot of TLC, but it's, it's a very precious part of the foot. We need this arch in good shape to create both strength in the foot and elasticity so that the foot is really a mechanism that's going to take us for that journey. I believe we walk about 110,000 miles in a lifetime, which is, which is a long way. So keep that in mind. Take care of the feet. And if you know if you are stuck at home, you've got this opportunity to really start to learn self-care. In fact, I wrote, I just wrote a blog about it, what to do in this, why self-care is really um, an expression of fearlessness in the face of this, the the uh, coronavirus. So you might want to go to my website and check that out. <clears throat> Now, as you hold the strap, engage it, you can see that my elbows are bent, shoulders are relaxed. So I'm not, I'm not tensing the top of the body. The top of the body is strong and firm, but it's relaxed. The real effort here comes from between the knee and the low back. So you want to press down with the knee. You want to press down with the sit bone. So you're grounding down. The hips. As you ground down the hips, lift the rib cage. Do you see that? Lift the rib cage. Ribs come away from the hips. Toes come back towards the shin. Spread the toes out and use that lift as an opportunity to hinge yourself forward and backwards. And notice in that hinging the sensations or turbulence in the back of that left leg. In the hamstring, feel that stretch. The next time you come forward, pull those toes back so that turbulence goes into the calf muscle as well. And notice by that forward fold, shoulders are still relaxed, that I have the opportunity to walk the hands down closer to the toes, closer to the strap in the hinge. Head, chin is away from chest. Head is in a nice straight line with the spine. Just like the old flip phones, you're keeping that nice alignment. You're not dropping the head down yet. So this is called the forward hinge. And you might be up here, and that's fine. In fact, you might be up here. You might want to sit on something to elevate the hips. It's going to give you a little forward tilt in the pelvis. And that's also a nice way to learn how to do that. Another nice modification is you take a block and you bring it under the knee and you allows you to come forward. You see how much further I came forward with the bent knee? And then over time, I can take the block down, leg gets a little straighter, and then finally all the way where the, the back of the knee is pushing right down towards the mat. All right, so keep that in mind as a nice prop. Lengthen once again, push down through the sit bones, lift the rib cage, hinge a little further forward. If that allows the hands to work closer to the foot, do so. It might even allow you to grab the foot. Now, if you're a super gumbo here, you might be able to bring your hands around the back of a block or a block like that. Or if you're super, super, your hands around the block that way. So you can use the blocks both as a deeper stretch and a less intense stretch. Now, this is a safe position for your spine because we're not rounding the spine. We're not rounding the spine. That's very important to understand. The rounding of the spine comes in the next stage. So if you have a slip disc or a bulging disc, you, you don't want to round the spine. You want to stay here or back here. You just want to get that st stretch in the back of the hamstring, back of the calf. To round the back, it's going to change the stretch. I want you to close your eyes before you round the head, before you drop the chin. I want you to pay close attention to what changes. Feel the sensation in the legs, calf, hamstring, and now slowly drop the chin. And as you do, walk your hands a little further. Bring the top of the head towards the toes, toes towards the top of the head, but the forehead comes down closer to that left knee. Breathe.
and then slowly keep the head down, walk the hands back, let the hands lift you up. Hands and arms, not the back. Lean back into your hands for a moment. Straighten the arms, roll the shoulders back and down, squeeze the shoulder blades, open the chest to counteract that stretch, and then gently lift the chin and lower. Release the neck. Bring the head to neutral, turn the head to the right and then the left. Bend the left knee and change sides. So I'll turn sideways. I keep changing my orientation, hopefully allowing you to get a good bird's eye view of what's going on. Now start to get used to this action of pushing that knee down, that left knee and left sit bones and lifting the ribs. So you really feel the stretch coming out of the core of the body, not the upper body. You don't want the upper body involved. Grab your strap, give your foot a nice massage, a nice massage. So I am creating uh, Zoom videos at the moment as well, live videos, and that's uh, a really nice experience to, uh, to tune in and have a live experience rather than a re pre-recorded experience. It's not as good as the, uh, the yoga studio at Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, you know, where it's a, such a beautiful studio. And you get to see the people 360, but, you know, it's, it's the next best thing. All right. Take a nice firm, grab the strap, elbows bent, shoulders relaxed, and start to hinge forward and backward. Feel the sensation as you hinge forward coming into the back of the leg, the low back. Now watch those toes. Those toes will tend to want to point outwards away from the foot. The more you bring the toes back, the more you're going to feel this in the calf muscle. And then <clears throat> come to your hinge, push down with the sit bones and lift the ribs. There it is. So you've created the space in the belly away from the hips and that's your folding space. Notice how my head stays aligned to the spine. There's no rounding of the back. Keep the spine long. Let the heart travel down towards the toes and then the toes come back towards the heart. Feel that dual movement, the toes and the heart trying to close that distance. Allow the hands to find that optimal range, that Goldilocks point that gives you just the right sensation. Five years ago, I'd be back here. Now look. All right, this is just a matter of repetition over time. See how my left shoulder just came up a little bit to compensate? Mm -mm. Drop it down, push down with the sit bones, lift the belly so there's where I want to have all the action, not up here. Lengthen a little more, heart travels towards toes, push out through the right heel, lengthen that extended right leg, push down with the left knee, and then if it's appropriate, Drop the chin to the chest, starting to roll out the back. <clears throat> Forehead comes towards the knee. And then crown of the head towards the toes. Toes back towards the crown of the head and push out through that right heel. Feel all the sensation as turbulence, as wi the wild thing, exploding sensation inside the body. And then release, keep the head down. Gently walk the hands back. Start to feel yourself like that pebble falling below the windblown surface of the pond. Coming back, dropping down deeper, where everything is calm, where everything dissolves. Lift the head and lower the chin. Come to neutral, turn the head left and then right. All right, <clears throat> so we'll go a little bit more into the hips and then we're going to get into our back bends. All right, I'm going to recommend you have the blocks at the top of the mat. 
uh, bring the, uh, let's see, let's bring the right foot forward. So I'll orient this way between the blocks and have the blocks upright. Curl the toes of the left foot and walk the left knee back a little bit. Now have a good look in on the camera here. Can you see that that left leg of mine comes out at quite an angle from the hip? So it's not back up here. It's back here by walking it back. Now we're all going to have different hip openings and availability here. I like to walk it back so I can lean forward and bring the left hip forward. And that gives me a nice aliveness in that left hip flexor right up here. Right. A nice stretch. I'm going to lower the blocks because I can. <clears throat> Some of you will be right down here on the ground. Some of you might even be all the way down onto elbows. So find the experience that just works for you. Now inhale, come up, curl the toes of that left foot. So the ball of the foot is on the mat. And now lift the left knee and simply roll forward and backwards. So you roll onto the toes and then backwards for 10, 9, 8. You should be feeling something here. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now drop the knee and come back so that you feel your body stacked. Head over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Push down with that left knee. Reach up with the hands, stabilizing the lower body, squeezing the buttocks. Start to draw the hands back. Shoulder blades come back. Head comes back. So you start to feel yourself coming back into a back bend. Start to feel the front of the body open up. Breathe. Exhale, release. Bring the hands down to the blocks or the mat. Curl the toes of that left foot. Now lift the left knee. Lift the left knee. Engage the legs. Engage the inner thighs. Slowly stand up with that nice perpendicular knee over hip. Back leg strong. Reach the hands around behind you. Clasp the hands and open the chest. Whew. Whew. Feel the chest open. Feel that left hip flexor open. Exhale, release. Drop the knee. Bring the hands to the blocks. Bring the knees together. And simply come back onto the shins. Close the eyes for a moment. As if you've drawn an imaginary line down through the center of the body. And feel the contrast between the side you've just stretched and the other side. Feel one side is turbulence, the waves crashing down onto the ocean, and the other side is the deep ocean simply receiving the energy from those crashed waves. And then bring the right foot forward Leaning into your blocks, walk that left knee back. Uh, sorry, we're going to change sides. Let's do the opposite. Bring that left foot forward. There you go. Now I've got it. Curl the toes of that right foot. Walk that right knee back. Once again, finding your Goldilocks spot. It's going to be different for everybody. And I say it in every class, work in that pain-free range of motion. It's not about pain. We want to feel turbulence. We want to feel a relationship to energy moving in the body as sensation, as aliveness, vitality. But we don't want to turn it into pain. Uncurl the back toes. Press down with that right foot. Now, you'll notice if you press down with that right foot, you'll feel that sensation move into the right hip flexor, the right quadricep. Squeeze again, your choice. How far do you want to come down? Do you want to come all the way down? Hands on the ground, hands on the blocks. What 
works for you. And then release. Come back so that the torso stacks over that knee. Lift the hands. Lift the hands. And then bring the hands back. Start to open up the chest. Squeeze the buttocks. Squeeze the legs for stability. Start to feel that back bend. Exhale, hands to the blocks of the mat. Curl the toes of the right foot. Hope you can see my right foot. Lift that right knee. And then start to rock forward and backward. So you feel yourself come onto the ball of the foot. So the back foot is doing all the rocking. Back foot pushes in. Come onto the top of your toes. Back heel goes back. Stretching out that hip flexor. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. This gives great flexibility as well. And drop that knee. Curl the toes, lift the knee. Now this time, lift up, keeping that front leg nice and stable. See how the knee is over that? Ankle nice and perpendicular. That hip is nice and wide open now. Reach up, runner's lunge. You should be feeling quite a little bit of fire here in that right side. Exhale, release, dissolve. Bring that left knee back to the right knee. Come onto the shins. Close the eyes. Draw the line down through the body. Feeling the crashing sensations from one side of the body. Transfer the energy throughout the whole body. Drop below the turbulence into that still calm ocean. I hope this metaphor is appropriate for you. <laughs> I used to be a scuba diver and a surfer, so I have a love affair with the ocean. So. The ocean's a great metaphor for me, even though there were some scary moments. Um, but I hope uh, the metaphor of the ocean works for you. If it doesn't, I apologize. Namaste. All right, so we're going to come into some deeper intentional back bends now. Have your blocks or a blanket handy. I'll demonstrate how you can use the blanket. If you fold the blanket up like that, it's pretty much... It's pretty much as, as thick as a block. You see how that when you push down on the weight, they're about the same thickness. So I think I'll use the block for the back bend here. Again, I'll start sideways. Extend the feet out in front. Stand the feet on the mat. Roll the shoulders up and back and down. Grab the back of the thighs just above the knees. Lengthen through the spine and walk the feet a little closer in. Now, squeeze the biceps. See how the biceps are squeezed? Squeeze the biceps so they're holding those legs nice and firmly. Focus on the breath. Slowly lift the feet up so the shins are parallel to the ground. Find that balance point on the sit bones. Watch that left shoulder doesn't pop up like mine likes to. And start to feel the turbulence start to grow in this position of upward facing boat. Curl the toes back and spread the toes out. You can close the eyes if you feel comfortable with your balance. And then slowly start to straighten the legs out if you can as you do that curl the toes back spread the toes out wide push out through the heels so there's a big deep engagement in the legs in the thighs still holding the back of the thighs for now just to feel this new position of upward boat 
Now, if you can, take it a little further by releasing the hands, extending the hands out, palms face upwards, and start to feel the turbulence grow. It's not the turbulence that you feel from holding the breath. It's a different turbulence, a different rising up. The body might start to shake. Feel the turbulence build. For five more breaths. On that fifth exhale, slowly lower to the mat. Like the rock dropping below the surface of the pond, let go until you settle on the bottom. When you feel settled, notice the distant turbulence way up on the surface, the ripples, the wind, so far away, undisturbed in this place. Start once again to feel this ability in your awareness to let go, to drop back into a place where turbulence is not necessarily gone, and that turbulence could be movement of the mind, thoughts, worries, anxieties, but they're further away. They're further away, so let your practice keep taking you on a journey further and further away. From the turbulence, knowing you can go back to that turbulence at any time. You can grab your surfboard and paddle out and ride those waves anytime. But just for now, they're so far away. Letting go. All right, so moving into our back bends, grab your block. Have your block handy. You may not need it. Let me move that out of the way. Walk the feet back towards the hips. Feet are parallel. If you had a block, you could put a block between the thighs and it would just hold there. So you want to have that sense of the knees not splaying out to lose the block and not caving in. You want that stability. In fact, I'm just going to experiment by keeping the block between my thighs. Keep me honest. You can try that as well. Hands grab the hips. Start the roller decks the hip forward as you inhale. Belly expose. And exhale. Rock the hips backwards. Inhale, belly expands. Roll forward. Exhale, navel draws in. Feel the low back press into your mat. Roll the dexing the hips. <sighs> Letting everything go. Then come to neutral, palms face up. Inhale, press down with the feet. Lift the hips up. Exhale, slowly come down. Inhale, this time lift the hips up, arms up. Let the arms come up all the way over the head. Hips come up as high as they can. Exhale, float everything back to earth. Hands beside the hips. Inhale, lift hips, lift arms, reach, hold. Exhale, earth, coming all the way back, feeling that motion with the breath. Now, the next time you come up, hold. You've got the block. You can squeeze the block. I want you to start, and you can watch me on the video if you like, start to walk my hands, my shoulders closer to my heels. You see how that lifts my hips even higher. So I'm shortening the distance between my shoulders and my heels. All right, Keeping the feet flat 
at least for now, keep the back of the neck long. So the back of the neck is not compromised here. Bring the hands back down. And if you can, grab your shins. Grab your shins. Now, the only way I can do that initially is to come onto the balls of my feet. Heels are lifted. That shortens the distance. I grab hold. And once I've grabbed hold, I can start to walk the shoulders back. But I've got a nice grip on the shins. My heels come down. Now, the more I push down through the heels, the more I can lift the hips up. Keep the back of the neck long. Shoulders away from the ears. Push down with the heels. Lift the hips. Now, as you lift the hips, squeeze the buttocks. Squeeze the glutes to maintain and support the hamstrings. I've still got my block, so I'm doing well. Inhale, deepen the breath. Lengthen the neck. Inhale. Now lift the hips a little higher. And as you lift the, nips, the hips a little higher, extend out through the knees. Push down through the heels. And feel this opening in the chest. Exhale. Release. Slowly let everything come down. Grab the block. And extend the legs out. So that first pose, you can, you can keep your eyes closed. I'll just talk for a bit. That first back bend, uh, bridge pose. So that's like a, a benchmark for you. You'll notice how that felt for your back and for the opening of the chest and the opening of the heart, right? Creates a lot of turbulence, but as you let go, that turbulence, you should drop deeper down into the ocean of stillness. You should start to see in the letting go of something as intense as a backbend, everything goes deeper, wider, more spacious. If that was too intense for you, this is where the block comes in. Your next backbend could simply be to use the block on edge or low or super high depending and you can create the same effect but you have the support of the block to create the opening right so the block gives you other options that you wouldn't normally have right so that's an option and that's why you have the block handy now for some of you you might want to go a little deeper if you want to go a little deeper, that's what I'll do. So remember, you have three choices here. The same as the first movement, bridge pose. Modified, step back a little bit, take care of yourself, use the block. Three, if you're really feeling like opening this up right across the shoulders, right across the chest, we're going to come into wheel pose. So wheel pose... Um, is a little more demanding all right and only try it if it feels appropriate for your body so start by standing the feet closer to the hips inhale lift the hips now as you lift the hips just like bridge pose start to walk the shoulders back closer to the heels so here's our bridge pose hands can be palms face out you can have a block you can clasp the hands underneath you. A lot of options here. But to come into wheel pose, you're going to take the hands and bring them underneath your shoulders, fingers pointing towards the toes. All right. Now, ideally, you want to keep the elbows in so you're not flaring the elbows out. I have a little issue with that, but what to do? I'm going to do my best and forget the rest. Inhale now. As I inhale, I'm going to use the hands to lift the chest off the ground. And once you come up, stay for five to ten breaths, depending on what's appropriate for you. Inhale, lifting up. You can walk the hands closer if you like. I can't. Feel the breath. Feel the intensity. Feel the turbulence growing in the body. Until the turbulence takes over and then let everything dissolve let everything dissolve and as you do 
lower down to the mat, bring the heels of the feet together, let the knees splay out to the side. Palms face up. Feel yourself descend beneath the waves. Simply by letting go. Simply by allowing yourself to feel supported on your mat. Extend the legs out. <clears throat> Extend the legs out. Bend the left knee. Push down with the mat and move your hips to the left a few inches so you start to feel yourself rock towards your right hip. Stand the left foot on the right thigh. Palms out 90 degrees. And then roll the low body towards the right side. So the bent knee towards the right. Now push out through the right heel so you keep the axis of the body long, straight. There's a dynamic engagement in that extended leg. Right hand reaches over and finds right thigh or right knee if you can. Keep both shoulders on the ground. Keep the shoulder blades snugged into the mat. Relax the hips as you push out through that right foot and pull down on that left knee. Start to feel that extension in the hip. Turn the head to the left. And then slowly release. Let that leg return. Draw that line down through the body. Feel the waves, the turbulence dissolve into the stillness. So the stillness takes on a new quality. It's a quality of spaciousness and aeration rather than a dense, dull, sluggish. That stillness, that depth is aerated by the turbulence. So think about how turbulence in your own life can be transformed simply by allowing it to meld with the stillness. So the stillness has a new vibrance to it, a new potential. Extend through the legs. This time bend the right knee. Tilt towards that left hip, right leg stands on that left thigh. Left hand can support that left knee as you roll to the left. That right hand comes out 90 degrees, palm face up. Now push out, create a dynamic tension in that right leg. Keep the shoulders down. Turn that head towards the right. So there's a dynamic tension from the crown of the head down into the left heel. That's like an axle about which you're revolving. There's a certain relaxation in the right hip, the right leg, allowing that revolution, that turning to deepen. The three, two, and one. Now gently release. Come onto your back. Stand the feet on the mat. Let the knees rest against each other. If possible, keep the feet flat, pigeon toed on the mat. Feet apart, knees together like you've created a teepee. Feel the turbulence dissolve. Now you can remain here for a few minutes 
or you could bring the soles of the feet together if you'd like a little more hip opening or you could simply extend the legs out into Shavasana Feel the pebble sink below the ocean. Below the lake, the turbulence left far behind. And through your practice, the stillness, the depth, You've changed its quality. It's not a stillness or depth of inertia, but a stillness and depth of potential life force, invigorated by the breath. the openings in the body. So much to understand, so much to learn in our yoga about how we can manage the turbulence in our life. Let everything go. Let everything be. Let go. Let go. And once again, at this point in your practice, inquire within. You have the freedom of your own space. Do you want to remain in Shavasana? Or are you ready to move into another direction, perhaps meditation or returning to the world. And in the privacy of your own home, giving yourself all the space to be real with your own experience. What's right for me right now? Do I have duties and obligations that call me? Or do I have space to... absorb the practice a little more. So after you've made the choice, you can remain or start to move with me as you bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet onto the mat and hug the knees for a moment. Oh, rock from side to side. Mm, feel that release in the lower back. And when you're ready, roll all the way over to one side, curl up into a little ball. And then gently press up to a comfortable seat. Notice all the layers of movement, currents of turbulence, 
the obvious, the subtle, and perhaps even some that you don't even know the names of. Just allow them to move. To bring your hands together in prayer position at the chest, let the head bow in gratitude for each breath we take. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Pleasure to have you. Have a great week. Stay safe.